Is that real bugs? Yes! Ever since electrification was introduced to the rail system, this little stretch between Ride Pierhead and Shankton is the only part of the Isle of Wight Railway that remains. And whilst there are buses and alternative forms of public transport to take, the rail system is a very good choice if you want to get from end to end very quickly. But, is it quicker than modern road infrastructure? Basically that's my excuse for staging a race between the two. And it shall begin as soon as I get a thumbnail. It's on. I've got to be moving before it gets to ride escalated at least. Come on. First obstacle is the 10 mile hour speed limit on the pier, so already it's putting a small advantage. Okay, the route I have to take, eight or nine miles of mostly main roads, with the majority being 30, 40 or 50 miles an hour, no big 60 mile an hour stretches. The train, whilst it is a shorter route and a more direct route, it can only max out at 45 but it also has to stop over every station, whereas I can go all the way through. And in one minute time, the train's going to leave that station on its jolly way onwards to Shanklin. The schedule, as I have written down here, predicts that the train takes 24 minutes to get from the pierhead all the way to Shanklin. Various online mapping services suggest it will take me 26 minutes. However, that does not take into account various filtering prospects and such like, but also doesn't take into account these blooming temporary lights. So, place your bets. Who's going to win? Okay, 10.52. The train has left Ride Esplanade. It is on its way to Ride St John's through the tunnel underneath Ride. It is just underneath there. And in three minutes time, it will leave Ride St John's station. Oh, this is going to be intense, I reckon. And I'm pretty sure this is an idea that's been done many a time already, if I look. But I haven't even looked for it. I just thought, ooh, train. Ooh, bike. Ooh, put the two together. Ooh, Top Gear style. Just on a much smaller budget and scale. And before any questions were asked, that clock was set right just before we started. We are good to go. And I reckon I've got the advantage up to about Braiding or Smallbrook Junction. At the moment, it have only just arrived at Ride St John's, which is behind me. And it's got another three minute run to the next station of Smallbrook Junction. And then after that, I am pretty much in 30 mile an hour the whole way. Whereas it can go up to 45 miles an hour in a straight line with no traffic. So that is where it's going to claw back. Oh, this is going to be good. I'm surprised among all my rubbish riders, I haven't thought of this one before. But here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 10.55, the train has left Ride St John's on its way to Smallbrook Junction, which is already to my right. I am already in line, if not past Smallbrook Junction. I have got the advantage. Surely this 2008 motorcycle will be able to beat a 1938 tube train. It's got to, hasn't it? <laughs> Come on, I've got to make time in this bit. This is a good bit to make time, and I'm just not doing it at the moment. Come on, come on. Okay, 10.57, the tube train has rolled into Smallbrook Station. Very peculiar station, as you can't get there on foot. You've got to go there on a train, as it's only an interchange between the steam and the electric train. And I am ahead, I reckon by about a mile. I've got a good mile on it at the moment. And this is one of the first crossing points, so we'll be able to see how we're getting on. We should be ahead at this point. If we see the train here, we are in trouble. We are good. Okay, 10.58, the train has left Smallbrook now. It is on our way past us any minute now. It's probably only a minute or two from using the tracks just to our left. And in only four minutes, it'll be at Braiding Station, which I have not yet passed. And this is a difficult part. 20 miles an hour speed. It's gonna be doing 45 as it enters where I am now. And I'm doing less than half that. Oh, 20 miles an hour, never felt so slow. Braiding Station is down there. So, 10.59, we are ahead. In three minutes time it will be pulling into Braiding Station which is to our left now. We are ahead. However in a mile or two is when things will start to get bad. 30 mile now all the way. I wonder how dramatic I can edit this to be. Because this at the moment does not feel dramatic by any stretch of the imagination sitting here. There's a bridge for it and it's not there. We are in front. We are still in front. Okay, 11.03. The train has departed from Braiding. It is on its way to Sandown. We have not gone past Sandown Station yet. And in three minutes, four minutes, it will be here. I'm probably about two minutes from Sandown Station. It is closing in now. The train is closing up. And at this point, the train is going on a much straighter course than I am. I'm wiggling through the town and underneath its own bridges and rises, where the train is going pretty much straight through. This is a bit that could cost time. If we get caught at this red light, it can take quite a while. Yes, we're through it, we're through it, we're through it. That's good, that is very good. Okay, there's signpost to Lake Station about half a mile down there. And currently it's not gone to Sandown yet. We are making okay time. 
However, uh, this is, can be another funny junction. But it looks pretty clear today. We are good. We are good. Let's go, go, go. Come on. Come on, stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green, stay green. No! 11.06. The train will be at Sandown, ready to leave. And in three minutes' time, it'll be over there where Lake Station is. Oh, they're letting them cross. Oh, 1107. The train has left Sandown. It's on its way to Lake, which is to my left. It'll be leaving there in three minutes time and on its way to its final stop in Shanklin. OK, it'll be in Shanklin in about five minutes time. And I have got that time to get through Shanklin to get to it. It's going to be close. This is a long 30 mile an hour stretch. No point in field swings. We're going right and everyone else is going straight on. Here's sirens. We might need to pull over. Ambulance going through. Oh, no. A set, two sets of reds. No. No. Two sets of reds. This could cost us. This is going to cost us badly. This could cost us bad because in under a minute, the train will be leaving Lake on its way to Shanklin Station. It's gone. It's left Lake. The train has left Lake. The train is on its way to Shanklin Station and I am not there yet. The station is merely a mile up this road. Oh, this is going to be close. Here we are. Shanklin Station. Is the train here? Oh, I need to park. Need to park. Need to get into the terminal. Cycle bay. That'll do for me for now. Come on. Got to get to the platform. Got to get to the platform. Shanklin. Oh dear. I don't know how well that was caught on camera. But I arrived to park up and it wasn't here. And by the time I was walking to the platform, it had arrived. Well, from station to station, I got it. But from platform to platform, the train most certainly won it then. That was a close race. That was closer than I was expecting. If I had just pulled up and ran in there, I would have beaten it to the platform, but it was my faffing at the end which meant I didn't quite see the train in. Well, that was jolly good fun. Makes me want to go race some more public transport forms now. Although probably not the boat, seeing as I can't quite get across the water without it. But anyway, that's been that. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. How about racing a plane?